so <laughs> I, I just have to laugh I just got done listening to Stevie Wonder's Nipsey Hussle speech <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh the reason I laugh is in okay in 2010 I got introduced to the conspiracy theory channels you know and that's all I used to watch for I would say a good year in all of 2010 I used to watch only conspiracy theory channels on YouTube and I watched them from the Jan from January 2010 I remember down to it was about November 20, 2010 and ever since I I never watched YouTube anymore until I think it was like 2013 started watching YouTube again no these conspiracy theory channels I used to watch in 2010 they would break down 9-11 and all these conspiracies, you know, um, they would talk about the Pope at the time, Pope, Pope Benedict, I think, yeah, I think that's the one who resigned. And they would talk about like Obama and Bush and, and all these guys, right? And they would talk about gun laws and the coming gun laws, the New World Order, and they, when the thing that they would say that I, it's not that I didn't believe, I didn't want to believe it. I, I didn't want to. I didn't want to accept that, that possible change and what it would mean for humanity. And they said that the new world order will be ushered in very easily because what the upper ups would do is they would practice the order out of chaos so they'll stage certain you know events and have the people spooked and the people themselves will call for gun control and the likes they will call for the government to step in and protect them and the government will come in with solutions you know which will be a detriment to the people, but they won't see it until later. Now, I listened to that speech of that, that speech from um, Stevie Wonder, <laughs> and I'm beginning I'm beginning to not believe that Stevie Wonder is blind. I don't think that guy is blind. I saw a video where people are saying he's not blind when somebody was passing, and they. They bounced the mic stick and Stevie Wonder caught that stick. And when I saw that video, it was somebody doing that whole conspiracy theory thing again. When I saw that video, I was like, but these guys are right. He's probably not blind. How did he catch that? Now I'm watching the video of him doing that speech at Nipsey Hussle's funeral. And he spoke about gun laws. He called for gun control. Yes. <laughs> he called for gun control. I couldn't believe it. When this guy was talking, he, he wasn't feeling for the mic. He wasn't feeling for the stick. He knew exactly where it was and he just touched it at one shot. This blind guy stretched his left hand out and touched the mic stick at one attempt, the first attempt. He didn't touch and feel for where it was. He just grabbed it just like that. And he did it three, I think it was like three times he did it, three different times. But this guy called for a gun control. And that alone that alone has me wondering if Nipsey Hussle is really dead or is this another staged event 
because the first thing that struck out to me was when, when I saw the video on on TMZ was the grainy footage. And I'm like, yo, it's 2019. Everywhere I go in Jersey and New York, people have cameras everywhere. And that's the only footage you got? A, from The video look, looks like it was from 1970-something. You, you couldn't even zoom in? It just didn't... I, I, listen, I'm just a spectator, okay? I, I'm just in the audience with my popcorn, you know, watching the movie. But out of this chaos, they're trying to get order. And what is the order? Gun control. And what's going to happen when, you, when, when um, they implement this gun control? Whenever? You won't have guns to protect yourself. And not all cops are bad. Not all of them. But a lot of them out here are terrible. And we've, we saw what has been happening for the past couple of years. Them shooting down black folks. So you can just imagine gun control. You can't. Con you you cannot protect yourself nor your family. Might be leading to a dictatorship world. Who knows? Maybe these conspiracy theory guys that I was watching in 2010. Maybe they. they I think they're right. I used to doubt these guys, and I used to say, "Hey, these guys are talking nonsense." But I'm I'm beginning to just believe them. You know. It, because I'm, I'm looking and I'm thinking and I'm observing. And I'm like, this doesn't make any sense. That doesn't make any sense. That, that, this, that, that, that. This doesn't add up. It, maybe these guys have a point. And what they said is finally happening. People are crying for gun control. For tougher gun laws. And they've been doing it for years. So these conspiracy theory guys, they got one thing right. Or maybe that's one thing that I have seen that they've gotten right. Maybe they have gotten more things correct, but I, I, I haven't seen it yet. But this one here, yeah. They got one up on this one. Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder. Mr. Part-Time Lover. is calling for gun control. Ain't this some shit? I'm out, yo. Peace.